Welcome to Nettis Hall Heath Nature Reserve in Suffolk, UK for this edition, the 2024 edition of the Suffolk Backyard Ultra. This is the top Backyard Ultra in the UK. It is the Backyard Ultra which promises the largest number of yards of all the Backyard Ultras in the UK. It has delivered in the past with world records, national records, and with two minutes to go to the start, we're hoping that it will deliver again this year. The, the course this year has been waterlogged, so there is a, an alternative route being used this year. Uh, usually uh, we go out of the field here and round to the left, but this path here is waterlogged. So this year they are going to the right and in through the forest. The top runners are here. So uh, Matt Blackburn is here. John Stocker is here. Last year's winner, Oriel, is here from Catalonia in Spain. Hendrik Buri from Germany is here. Some of the top guys from last year and previous years, uh, but some big numbers hoped for this, this year. Perhaps, perhaps we can keep going until Wednesday. It is Saturday afternoon, just about Saturday afternoon. We are looking to keep going with these guys until Wednesday. So it's, there's a long time ahead. Now we do have a live stream. So if you want to go to the Film My Run channel on YouTube, uh, there's the camera that is broadcasting, that will broadcast for the full duration. And they are away in the Backyard Ultra, Suffolk Backyard Ultra 2024. Lap one, away they go. All the usual suspects are on their way for their first loop. And this is the way to take it nice and slowly, nice and easily on the first loop. No heroics. Uh, this will be a hive of activity here until tomorrow evening. Um, and tomorrow evening it will have thinned out and by Monday we will be looking at the last few runners. Is this our first DNF? It is. Hello, what's your name? Hello mate, Laura Kemp. Laura, why, why have you just decided to do one today? So I am horribly, horribly injured. Uh, I've just come off a of very doses of antibiotics and my car is absolutely knackered. So on the way home today, I'm going to go and buy a brand new shiny car to get me home safely. Wow. So I thought I'd just come and say hello to everybody because it's always like a family reunion and it's so lovely here and everybody's so friendly and supportive and I love everybody. So yeah, just thought I'd pop in, say hello, wish everybody luck and then go home. Well, congratulations. <laughs> You're our first DNF in the Backyard Ultra. Thanks a lot. Thank well done. <laughs> Feeling all right so far? Yeah, thank you. Yes, good. Kids with me this time, so <laughs> <laughs> Come on! How many loops are you going to do? 40, 45. 45? That's the Wait, plan. if you do 45, you may as well do 48 because that's two full days. Oh, perfect, that's good math. Yeah, yeah, okay. 48. 48. See you on Monday. Excellent stuff. <laughs> good job. <laughs> right, one minute to go before everyone starts loop number three. Hello. <laughs> Enjoying it so far? Amazing. How many are we going to do? Oh, you know, loads. Well, the world record is 108. Yeah, why not? Okay, 109? No. no. <laughs> You've got to equal it, haven't you? Got to be, got to be modest. <laughs> right, I'm never going to get through this crowd now, am I? Let's just go through here and find Oreo. Excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> settling in, Oriel? Hey, settling in. Yeah, okay. Everything good? Everything good. Do you think you can make 10 loops this year? I, I hope so. Yeah? <laughs> I hope I can make 10 loops. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is Oriel, who was the winner last year with 82 yards. 
And the record is being broken this and, year. And the record is going oh, this year. We need somebody to go with you, Oriel. Yeah. And it certainly keep up for first four laps. So away they go on loop three of the Backyard Ultra here in Suffolk 2024. Right, so Mandy has just finished lap four with, I don't know if you noticed when I filmed at the beginning, may the fourth yard be with you. Uh, so if you want to support Mandy's sheep shelter, where should, what should people do if they want to support you? A, um, I've got a Just Giving page, so if they Google Mandy Foister Just Giving. Mandy Foister? Yeah. Just Giving. Just Giving, and, um, or the Merkwood Rest Home for Retired Sheep. The Merkwood Rest Home for Retired Sheep. Let's just have a look on here. Look. So lots of runners here all just, this is the kind of general tent. This is, this is for people who haven't bothered to bring their own tents. <laughs> well, nice cup of tea though. Got a nice cup of tea? Did you make me one? Sorry, next time. I see, I see, I see. Uh, so uh, runners can get food from the food tent over there and then they all come and relax in here. Uh, whilst uh, whilst they prepare for the next lap. This is our Italian team here. Ciao. Hi guys, ciao. And um, plenty more runners. And then if they've got their own tents, they're, they're all through there. Look, you can see loads of tents through there. Uh, this is the food tent. Uh, so uh, crisps, all the usual fare, sausage rolls, biscuits, uh, peanuts, uh, the food of champions, the Jaffa cake, of course, uh, watermelon, the other food of ultra champions, um, apple pies. This is, this is how people rest. Look, there's one guy there. There's another guy there. <laughs> uh, look, you all know who that is. Well, once upon a time, world record holder. <laughs> He's enjoying himself. It's early days yet. Interviewed by a homeless man. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi. Enjoying yourselves? Yeah. Good, good, good. Yeah. Have you got loads of food that you've... Let's have a look in your food bag. Yeah, we've got Pringles. Yeah. Hula hoops. Hula hula hoop. buns. Pasta, you said. Yeah, good. <laughs> stuff. So, so a lot of these, these runners, they'll bring their own... There is the food tent, but they bring their own stuff as well. Uh, so making our way through here. Um, to th this... This is coming to the south of the camp. The, the north of the camp just stretches miles up there. So there are loads more people here this year. This is the registration area here. If, uh, if people DNF, if people have decided they want to finish, they will be ringing this bell here. These young lads are looking after it at the moment. Hi guys. You all right, Amy? Just keep going, yeah. Don't panic. My leg hurts where I fall, mate. I know, it's, it's gonna knock you. When you fall over, it does knock you, even though like you think yeah. it hasn't hurt you, you know, it just knocks you a bit. Just look after yourself. Keep going, don't give up. Right, two minutes to the start of lap five. How's it feeling, gents? Easy at the moment, yeah, comfortable at the moment. You're coming in comfortably each loop. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's happy? All in mind, isn't it? Good, it is all in the head. You're right, you're right. Bianca, how are you feeling? Everything going all right? As I can feel at this race. <laughs> uh, Bianca's an old hand at this backyard ultra. One minute to go. Yeah, watch yourselves. Uh, and we've still got three runners out there who haven't got back yet. So uh, if you're not watching the live stream, that's the camera for the live stream. Make sure you get over there because it is completely live for the full event. And away they go on lap number five. There's Bianca. Hi, guys. Wave at the camera. There's Matt. All right, Matt. There's Oriol, well done Oriol. And there we go, <laughs> well done. There's Mandy with her glasses. Right, so they've just set off on lap eight and they'll come up here, follow this arrow here, and then through this gate here, 
where this marshal is standing diligently. And so there are a few... Oh, you're going to open the gate for them to stop the, uh, the, the, the queues. And then they've got this lovely, flat, easy, soft forest trail to do. So here they come. Some solid running already from Lee there. As they set off on lap eight. <laughs> so it's quite crowded and when they get round to that gate the other side there is a little bit of congestion. Well done boys and girls. Good work. There are still a lot of people in this race after seven laps. We just cross over here, look. A little bit of bottlenecking going on here. You're in there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope you're that cheerful in 50 loops time. <laughs> so most of the course here is on this kind of terrain. So hard pack mud, soft uh, forest floor. There's a, I think there's a little bit of sand, um, grass. Not too much open cover, uh, not too much open uh, land. Hi there. Um, and this is where it out opens out to the heath a little bit. And as they're running around, they, they sometimes you'll see deer or horses. So it is 10.49 p.m. at Nettis Hall Heath and these runners are all coming in to finish lap 11. Well done guys, how are you feeling? Great stuff, well done. <clears throat> so if they can go out and finish the next loop, uh, they will have done 50 miles. So that's the next big, big marker, 50 miles. Well done. Well done, Ariel. How are you feeling, Ariel? Fine. Good. Well done. Right, that's, that's uh, essentially our favourite, Ariel, there. Gone through, says feeling fine. No, it was a spot on one. All good? Yeah, all good. Well done, guys. A uh, significant moment now in the backyard ultra. Runners have completed 12 laps which means they've done 50 miles. We have around about 140 runners still left in. It is midnight, or just before midnight, 15 seconds to go, and they'll go out on their next loop. A lot of people ringing the bell now, but uh, like I said, about 140 still left in the game. Away they go on lap 13. Uh, all the usual suspects, all the big hitters are still in. No shocks so far. No shock withdrawals. There's Matt Blackburn right there. There's John Stocker right there. Can't see Oriel, but I'm sure he's in there somewhere. And Henrik is in there as well. Away they go. And camp will fall silent again for another 45 minutes. 
Uh, so this is camp at a quarter to two in the morning as runners are starting to arrive having finished loop 13, loop 14, sorry. Uh, this is the stocker tent over here, all brightly lit and colourful. Waiting for John to arrive, shouldn't be more than a few minutes. People uh, sleeping without tents. <laughs> no, couldn't be bothered to carry one, fair enough. All right, Henrik. How's it going, Stephen? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. How yeah. Very well, thank you. Yep, yep. Living the time of your life. Uh, living the dream, mate. <laughs> living the dream. So you can see the tents stretching far and wide. Clapham Chasers there. And uh, plenty of tents with uh, fairy lights on. Beautiful, almost like still a sunset there in the distance. Uh, so this is for the start of lap 21 at the Backyard Ultra. Around 50 runners still left in, all the main players still left in. Top female runner Mandy Nickel is still in. Still in. And away they go. Keep walking. So this is who? This is Ryan. Ryan, uh, how many miles had you done prior to this Backyard Ultra? So the, so the amount of miles I've done was 40. We've done some Backyard Ultra training in where I live in Wiltshire. So um, I've doubled that today, about 85 miles. Well done. So I'm really pleased. Okay, I've and just, uh, uh, just coming in to... Uh, tap out on lap 21 yeah yeah still got a smile on my face just and are you are you happy with what you've achieved very happy over the moon would i say you... the uh, the plan was 100 miles but i'm not gutted and would you come back and do another one definitely next year i will be here brilliant <laughs> get that 100 next time it's a great event thank you very much well done buddy thank you okay let's just have another little look around camp you look very comfortable, you alright? Very comfortable, thank you. Good, 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 good. Boys, how's it going here over at registration and DNF tent? Good, good. Yeah, anyone ringing the bell? Not, not yet. Good, we don't want anyone ringing the bell for at least one more lap. Okay. Get them to 100 miles. Uh, the stocker crew. <laughs> is he, you have to pancakes, is he? Yeah. Okay, so this is John Stocker's uh, better half. How, how is he managed? How is that knee? Well, I haven't seen him yet, so um, I've spoken to him. He just said that he'd like to change it if he could. <laughs> he'd like to change his knee, right? So that I, means I, he's, he's, yeah, feeling it, but but he's well. He's going to do. He's going to at least twenty-four. He's going to manage, isn't he? Yeah. Good stuff. So okay, excellent. How's it going, Matty? Not bad. Yeah. Yeah, feeling all right. Comfortable. Yeah. Heat not getting to you. Not yet. It's no. Early. It is early. Early. Maybe in a bit. Okay, good stuff. Well done. And right next door, Mr. Brewery. Hey, how's it going, Stephen? Very well. This is a very nicely tidy organised German tent. It's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> it's Andrew's tent. <laughs> I'm this part here. I'm the nicely organised part. How's how's everything going? Yeah, it's going well. Yeah, Comfortable? So far, so good. Yeah. It's, yeah. No, it's quite fun. It's a beautiful course. So, yeah. yeah stuff. Great stuff. Okay, guys. Well done. How's it going? Feeling good? Any niggles? Legs, yeah, okay. What are we hoping to get to, to this time? Or are we not putting a number on it? Don't put a number on it. Good idea. Keep going. Just one more. So the camp has thinned out a little bit with a lot of the running clubs who were here just for the Saturday fun uh, have gone. Uh, we are getting down to slightly more serious numbers now. People who want to go long. These guys are enjoying themselves in the sunshine. Hi. Hello, you all right? Cheers. Cheers to you. And the person who's got the longest walk to their uh, to the, the start line, hello, <laughs> is over there. So that is camp. 
Uh, as we approach 24 laps, 23 laps done. Uh, so here we go, lap 24. This for 100 miles. Well done, guys. Mandy with her glasses. And they are off. And the uh, assembled crew following on as well. Crew and supporters. As we all settle into sunbathing for another 45 minutes. It is 25 hours into the Backyard Ultra. Away they go. Uh, 30 odd runners left in the Backyard Ultra now, 30 odd, I'm not sure exactly how many, but uh, we've had a few dropouts. We had 44 runners starting the 24th loop, 44 runners reaching 100 miles. <laughs> so at 26 years old, you've done 26 <laughs> laps. <laughs> well, I, um, did, I didn't need to do 60 so I'm already 60 so. a lot of people on the live stream if, uh, you are their new hero oh really yeah um, we've been cheering you in your grandson has been cheering you in on the live stream every lap as well oh he's mad for it he watches all of them yeah how pleased are you with your um, performance today yeah really happy actually because I had an awful build up the week before I had um, gastroenteritis which cleared 24 hours before and um, so I thought I'd give it a go and I just thought, yeah, I wouldn't do many. And what did you expect? Ten. You know, what I kept you going? The well, excellent crew. Yeah. <laughs> excellent crewing for the, the, the team. Yeah. That's what it was. Yeah. Somebody yeah. said that your fastest lap was 52 minutes. So in 26 hours of running, the, the longest break you had was less than eight minutes. Yeah. Oh yeah, of course. Free to be kids. Uh, children's children's charity in London. Um, feel free to go to enthuse um, dot com and look up Kevin Munt on there. And if you want to make a donation, that would be absolutely fantastic. Every little bit will help. And they um, support very troubled children in London, and they take them out into the countryside, get them into nature, change their lives a bit. Kevin Munt, sixty six years old. Yes. Well done. Congratulations today. Thank you. Very Brilliant. Much. Yeah. Good job. This is the start of uh, lap 27 in the Backyard Ultra here at Suffolk. It is a roasting hot day now and we have 20 runners left in the game. They're about to start lap 27. We have two ladies left in. We've got Karen and Kathy. Away they go on lap 27 and uh, we're going to follow them just a few minutes into the woods. So they're going to go down the straight there, turn right out of the field and they're going to come into these woods here. So we will make our way through these woods. This is all part of the Nessus Hall Heath Nature Reserve and it's a beautiful nature reserve well worth coming to visit especially on days like this when the sun just glints through the trees and it's a beautiful place to be and then when you get out onto the heath there and you see the horses and the other way in fact we've got some horses right here look horses right here but we don't scare them away but the runners will probably scare them away in a second when they come through Wow. <laughs> uh, these are wild horses, by the way, living in the in the reserve. So there's the camp behind the trees. Uh, Nima, well done. And Lukash, 
Henrik, Matt. Hi, Hello. guys. <laughs> Cheers. Hi there. Well done, guys. Well done, Carl. There's badass Kathy coming through. Followed by Karen. Remember, this course has been um, uh, changed because of the flooding. So this is not this is not where they would normally run. Uh, but they soon join the, the original course when they get out onto the heath there. Ten seconds to the start of lap 32 here at the Backyard Ultra at Nettis Hall Nature Reserve. 17 runners still in the game. All the big hitters still in the game. And away they go. Spain, Italy, Switzerland, Germany, the UK, obviously. Come on then, buddy. Good, great effort. Thank you. Why have you stopped? Oh, I just dizzy when I came across here. And I was forced to go back out again. Who fought? Who? Who was the evil person who forced you to go back out again? Some bearded clan thing. <laughs> um, and I just vomited, and that, I, I, you know, I knew the time was up there. Yeah. You know, um, thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, unfortunately, there's a lot of better. There's some fantastic runners out here, and it's just a privilege to run with them. Oh gosh, the sunlight's bright, isn't it? it is. No, that's just the radiance yeah, coming off of it. <laughs> I mean, you look, you still look great. And your point is, <laughs> <laughs> I actually feel, you know, what I feel like. How, so the legs have gone, have they? The legs are just dead. I can't, the running legs have gone. So Secretly, without telling anyone, were you, were you hoping that perhaps you could push it out to 37, 38 for a Nationals no, place? No? No. Just, um, I was just happy to get past the PB and I've got past it. Yeah. By two, so. Yeah. So you're happy with that? Fine. Yeah. I think if it had been cooler, you might have gone a bit I further. Just, yeah. I think yeah. the heat of today is just. Stomach all right? Started. I had some, had some issues with that, but I mean, I've still been able to eat something. Yeah. You've yeah. Grazed, not enough. You, you've, gra <laughs> you've grazed, but not enough. Yeah. 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 But you've kept it down. And, uh, yeah. and you've yeah. not complained, oh, I can't eat anything. Well, look, 31, 31 yards, can't complain at that. Yeah. Coming back again? Line under this one now, that's it. Right, yeah, yeah okay. Because there's other races out. There's other stuff to do, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, there's just too many races in not enough time. So I've done yeah. it twice We're, now, we're not getting any younger, are we, Cathy? No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I said we. I said we. No, definitely not. Yeah. Brilliant done. effort, Cathy, well Thank done. You. Thank Cheers. You. Get some rest. Thank you all. Cheers. It's six minutes past eight in the evening and we're just passing mile marker one on the Suffolk Backyard Ultra route. And in a few minutes, I'm expecting the first runners to come past me on their way round their 33rd loop. So this is the kind of uh, terrain that they are running on. Uh, fairly soft underfoot it's um obviously muddy when wet but it's been very dry and warm today so it's dried the ground out tremendously beautiful light and views across the fields there to the right as a course goes this is why uh, the nettis hall course here in suffolk has produced such big numbers in the past and uh, all the records that it has because it is a very runnable course. There are hardly any uh, hills of note. There are one or two inclines, you know, and this this section here is just a slight incline. If you're very, very tired, this could make your legs feel a bit heavy coming up here. But really, to speak of, nothing, nothing significant. The course is all marked by these yellow, uh, the black arrows on the yellow background. 
and every mile is marked with a number. So you can see that it's, it's quite sandy on the ground now here. Not a problem, it's not, it's not soft sinking sand, it's just a bit of surface sand. I'm surprised we haven't been caught up yet, but uh, we're going to head into the woods here. I'll, can, I'll continue going until the guys catch me up. So you can see as much of the kind of middle part of this course as possible. It just gives you a really good idea of A, what the runners are facing here this weekend and B, what you might face if you come to do this race next year or in the future. There are tree routes. You know, it's not a completely free uh, run. Um, there are trip hazards, but all told, nothing too much to write home about. <clears throat> but that said, uh, we have had fallers. We have had runners who've fallen. Amy Green, as if you've been following the live streams, uh, Amy Green fell over three times yesterday, which really knocked her race. And we've had... Um, I think, was it Carl Baxter also fell over? So we have had people fall over tripping on tree roots and things like that through the forest. In fact, my wife fell over and broke her finger on this course a couple of years ago. And the path opens out a bit wider here. <clears throat> and it uh, starts to head downhill a little bit as well. Hi guys. Hello buddy. How are you feeling? Yeah. As good as you can feel after 30 hours. Yeah, yeah. good stuff. Well done. Right. Okay, we've got Switzerland and Poland. A small British contingent, including Tim, who's been persuaded to go out again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Matt and Hendrik. Well done, guys. Oh, <laughs> I would have thought it was strangely normal. Hello. Okay, good. Antonio there from Italy. And here's uh, Paul. How are you doing? I, no, I, I forget. I shouldn't ask you that, should I? He's doing good. Well done. Hey, Oriol. And there's Spain, Catalonia, going past. Here's Wayne. How's it feeling? Still good. Still good. Keeping it easy. Yeah, nice one. Uh, young Andrew Smith, carrying his perm with him as he goes. <laughs> well done, Andy. Our sole remaining female representative carrying the flag for womankind. Well done, Karen. Oh, thank you. Hey, Stu. Well done, buddy. With one minute to go before the start of lap 35... Uh, we are missing two runners. Andrew, Andrew Smith has just crossed in. Uh, we're waiting for our one lady, Karen Nickel, to come in. And there, there, is, there are head torches. There's one head torch coming up now with 40 seconds to go. And that, I, we can't make out who it is yet. That is Keith. Well done. So Keith is in with, with 30 seconds remaining. Karen is not here yet. And she is not going to make it. 20 seconds is not enough time. I can see a head torch, but she is not going to get back. And Karen, our last lady, who was hoping to... She, she is on the way. I can see a head torch, but she's not going to make it. Four seconds and the remaining 13 runners, if they all decide to go, are away. So let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. If I've counted correctly, 12 runners have gone out on lap 35. 
Karen, very sadly, has not made it back. So our remaining female runner is out. Here she comes, look. Oh, well done, Karen. Well done, Karen. Last lady standing. Unlucky, oh, Karen. Well done. Well done. Great effort. There she is. Well done, Andrew. Good effort, mate. What happened in the end? You kept us, um, you kept us worried for two loops there. Someone kept going on about perm and it just, it just got the, into me. Was the, the perm weighing you down? A little bit. Yeah, that was it. I see. Okay. But I thought I'd better stop and sort of sort my hair out a bit. Yeah, yeah always best to sort your hair out. Okay. Uh, so this is Paul and Tim who've completed 37 loops today. Well done, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, tell me your reasons for quitting now. Uh, agony. Agony. Exceptional pain. Exceptional pain. Tim? Yeah, I'd say similar. Similar, yeah. Well, what about summarise it, one word? Yeah. Listen, yeah. you've both done really well and you've both given yourselves a chance of getting on the national team. 37 yards is pretty good. Thank you very much. So, Thanks. well Thank done, you. guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Go and get some well-earned sleep. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Great work, guys. Superb. Um, one of the cruel features of the backyard is that you have to find your own name and cross your own name off the list. And the issue is... I'm too tired. You're too tired to even There's see, not aren't you? Names left. I do. <laughs> uh, Phil, the pool self. What's your surname? Finn. I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I think I might have forgotten the alphabet. Back your own. Paul. Ha Paul has forgotten the alphabet. There he is. He's going to cross his name off. He is done. He is out of here. He is going to bed. Well done. And then they go. 42 hours. You calling it? Yeah, I'm calling it. Uh, Wayne is calling it a day at 45 yards. Can't keep any feeling. Okay. You've done a great job. Thank you. The bell is rung and we are down to six competitors in the Backyard Ultra 2024. Wayne calls it a day at 45 yards and the rest of the field are ready to go. Six runners remaining. So it is truly international now. Every runner from a different nation. Germany, Spain, Italy, Switzerland, the UK, Poland, all together. Uh, what's happened to the German organisation? And away they go, lap 46 now. Right, we are at uh, 46 yards done, about to start yard 47. Antonio, which, what shoes do you wear? Shoes? Craft. Craft. Craft, okay. Road shoes or trail? Trail shoes. Okay, gravel shoes, yeah. Hi, so like a hybrid shoe. Okay. Uh, Hendrik, what shoes are you wearing? Uh, good question. Um, I've forgotten. They look like hokers. No, they're, they're not. They're not hokers. No, they're not no. hokers. I know they're they're Essex actually. Yeah. Essex. Yeah. Right. Trail shoe, hybrid shoe. Um, trail, but you can use them on on the road for a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Them. They're really good. So, uh, so uh, Henrik has got Essex. Uh, you can see got big cushioning on them. Both of those shoes, Antonio's and Henrik's, have got lots of cushioning on them. I didn't see Matt there. Hello, Matt. No, not important enough. No. Right, uh, Matt's wearing Merrells. What are they? Uh, 
Uh, are they, they yeah they're trail shoes yeah. they've got relatively large lugs on them and not loads of cushioning actually no so uh are you finding them comfortable very, very have you been wearing them for the whole time i've worn the same yeah. trainers for the other backyards i've done in this in suffolk okay yeah um, i'm not soft like the europeans you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, matt says <laughs> quote, quote of the day matt says he's not soft like the europeans <laughs> on this truly international event. <laughs> uh, thank you, guys. Right, so uh, so that's three of them. We've got Merrill's, Asics, and oh, I've already forgotten what um, Antonio was wearing. Craft, he said, didn't he? Nima, people want to know what shoes you're wearing. Hoka. Right, so Nima's, Nima's wearing Hoka's. Uh, good stuff, okay. Uh, what shoes are you wearing? Uh, hokers, so it's two sets of hokers. And Oriel, what have you got on? Saucony. okay. So we've got Asics, Saucony, two lots of hokers, Kraft and Merrill. Those are the shoes that are being worn. So six runners about to start, lap 47. Away they go. By the way, these are ladies' hooker. Oh, okay. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, yeah, it's matching. Mm -hmm. Well done, guys. No, I saw him once again. Well done. Well Six um, runners remain in the Backyard Ultra here at Suffolk and they are about to go out on lap 50. Yay. Away they go. It's got a selfie to take. <laughs> there we go the selfie is done antonio is off and they are about to complete 50 yards of the backyard ultra 50 laps well over 200 miles now in let's see if we can get another 100 miles done Hello, Lucas. 51. 51 yards done. Lukas from Poland crosses the line. So very organized tent with the Polish flag, changing his shoes, getting some food. Uh, meticulous notes being taken as well. Uh, washing his cap because it is warm. So every Backyard Ultra runner has a team behind them who know what they're doing and it can really help towards making your runner or making you, if you are the runner, 
perform to the absolute best. And look, so Lukash, headphones on, eye mask on, and some sleep time. Well done, Lukash. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, my, my favorite so far was the Swiss Peaks, which is like a, it's like similar to Hotel Gio. Yeah. So, well, I've done it a couple of years ago. Ah, I remember your. Yeah, 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 exactly. It was a beautiful experience. Um, and they're doing like a 660 kilometer edition this year. Ah, it's not like for you, that would be perfect. Yeah. Uh, I would like, yeah. I thought I was, I was watching it, but. Mm -hmm. Too many vacations. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Oriel, uh, we've had a message from Burrito Shirts. Ah. They say hello and thank you for uh, hello. Thank, thank you for the work with the shirts. Thank you, thank you, Tony, for the shirts. Flying burrito. <laughs> if you like it, just ask me. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Upper up. Yeah. Oh, I've run 200 miles. Like 200 miles? 200 miles and you're fighting with me. I don't want you injured. I do not want you injured. <laughs> you're all completely mental. <laughs> I'm still filming. Just been attacked by the UK's premier backyard ultra runner. Right, this is the important one. This is the one we want. Uh, Nima is about to hit 51. Equal, yeah? Equaling your record. So uh, Nima's Swiss national record. Nima's PB, 51 yards. He is equaling it right now. Uh, Antonio is coming in as well at the same time. There we go. One more. Congratulations. Bravo. Really great running. Well done. Thanks. Superb effort. Away they go for lap 55. 54 hours completed. Woo! There we go. Marnie and uh, Lukash. Like a good commentator. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Blackburn, Hendrik. I I'll actually like to listen to you. <laughs> you should just stop and uh, <laughs> listen. Yes, of course. All good. The only hill. <laughs> you feeling okay? Yeah, super. Good. Thank you. Well done. So we are about two and a half miles into the course here. And this is effectively the only hill in of any significance in the Suffolk Backyard Ultra. And uh, Lukash has just walked up some of it, which is... Uh, Perfectly acceptable. And you'll find every other runner will walk up this little section here. Hey, gang. Hey, Stefan. Okay. How are you? I'm good. But I haven't run 250 miles.
Actually, some people on the live stream have been asking what you're eating at the moment, guys. What, this very minute? <clears throat> yeah, well... No, <laughs> are you on the live stream in, No, 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 live, no we're not live now. In general, yeah. what are you eating at the moment? Uh, potatoes. Yeah. And then probably sort of like chocolate, chocolate bars, cereal bars. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is, this is the usual, really. Hendrik, what have you just had a gel? Uh, yeah, exactly. I've got like one gel per loop. Um, and they're nice and watery, so it's like quite easy to to digest them. It's these high five gels, I really like them. Yeah. And otherwise, yeah, pasta, potatoes, stuff like that. Yeah. Aurel, what are you eating? Same, uh, at least one or two gels a loop. So you're still, so you guys don't worry about having uh, gels on such a long distance then? You're, you're still no. able to digest gels? Um, at uh, gigs, I ate more than 120 gels. 120 oh. gels, oh my God. Yeah, so I, I won't touch him in a race. No. In a long race. I'll, I'll take him in a marathon. Yeah. Because yeah. something you... Yeah. Well, it's yeah. Like I've got 80 gels with me here, and like so I'm on gel number 30, and it's okay. Okay. And I guess you just really need to know the gels and like... Try that they try them in training and make sure they're not too sweet. Yeah. And yeah. easy to digest them. Train your stomach. Yeah. Yes, yes. So they're not too dense. I like these watery ones. Yeah. Not these watery ones, though. Yeah. They're not sweet at all, actually. It's quite good. Yeah. You want to run with us? No, I've got my sliders on. Oh, beautiful. I'm also, I'm also injured. Uh, uh, so <laughs> I'll see you. I'll see you at the bottom there. Yeah. Care. Antonio, how are you feeling? You feeling good? It's very nice. You okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm okay. Excellent. Thank you very much. Keep going. Man, I had so much fun, dude. You fucking destroyed me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just, yeah. Bring that bell. Bring that bell, Nima. Well done. Cheers, guys. Thanks Congratulations. Maybe see you next year. Nima bows out at 55 with a new PB. Body is done. Did you feel it going as you were doing the last lap there? No. no, no. no? Hey, Just now that you've yeah, crossed yeah. the line. I've never had, like, my knees are gone. Um, what was it that made you call it a day? What what made you quit in the end? Um, I said to myself, if I can if I can do the lap in time, I'll do it. Um, in the end, I just didn't have the, it. Just didn't have the legs. Do you think it's cumulatively you've just got more tired? No, I, I, I think I did. What I didn't do was I didn't rest enough today. Yeah, that's what I genuinely feel. I rested incredibly well yesterday. Today I just didn't get the chance to get shut eye and rest the legs. Yeah, and that's what I need to probably learn on that little awesome event. And you've got it. You, you're when you when you speak, we all want to hear it. Ah, <laughs> man. So listen, we're very very proud that you've come here and, and taken part. And thank you very thank much. So much thank you. And I hope we'll see you again. Yeah, I hope yeah. so too. Take see care. Later, buddy. Hi. It's 2 a.m. 
and we are starting lap 63 of the Suffolk Backyard Ultra 5 remain and away they go. Well done guys, just one more. And there they go. So, at the Suffolk Backyard Ultra, Lukasz from Poland breaks his PB, personal best, 71, 71 yards. New personal best. New personal thank best you. for Lukasz. Thank you, thank you. Well done. Fantastic. 71 yards, and he's not done yet. He is not done yet. Fantastic. There we go. So Lukash is in on 47 minutes. Uh, so he's got about 13 minutes of recovery. Uh, and now we await the other guys, four other runners out there. Matt Blackburn, Henrik Bury, Antonio Dumano, and uh, Anto uh, Oriol Antoli Saurau from Spain. All of those guys are within reach of their own national records. So uh, as far as I'm aware, and Matt will try and confirm this, Antonio Di Mano from Italy is uh, on course to break the Italian national record at 76 yards. Let's hope he can do that. We are on course to break the course record here, the UK record and the German record when we hit 82 yards. So that's in some way off. 10 or 11 loops from now. Yeah, so the co Antonio's PB is currently 76, which is the current Italian record. There we go. So Antonio's PB of 76 is the current Italian record. Um, okay. And then a little bit later on, after that, if, we, if we're still going, uh, Oriol will break the Spanish record if he hits 90 loops. So those are your current milestones. Those are the milestones that you need to keep an eye on. So Antonio is on the way for loop 65. Loop Dash is on the way. Loop 65. Matt Blackburn. Oriol. Uh, Henders has just tied his shoe lace. He's got 45 seconds to get over the line. He's got 40 seconds to get over the line. No pressure, Henders. Got Come on, Hendrik! Picking up his fix. And away he goes. Well done, Hendrik. Keep pushing, Hendrik. Well done. Excellent well done. Turn. There we go. They are on their way on to seven five. We've just started loop 76 here in Nettis Hall Heath Nature Reserve and um, one runner who didn't come back off loop 75 was last year's winner Oriol. Oriol from Catalonia in Spain uh, got 82 yards here last year but did not return on lap 75 
So a number of uh, staff and crew have gone out to try and find Oriel, whilst the remaining four runners now at the Backyard Ultra here have gone out on Loop 76. Antonio from Italy is looking to equal his Italian national record of 76 yards, uh, whilst Matt Blackburn and Hendrik and Lukas from Poland, they are all looking to get uh, closer to the course record here set by Oriel last year of 82 yards. They are moving ever closer to that score, but the winner of this year's Backyard Ultra here in Suffolk will not be Oriel. He is out and uh, he is somewhere on course suffering with pain in his legs. Uh, the medical team have gone out there to try and bring him back. What was it, Oriel? I don't know, something in the, in the leg that is a huge pain. And you got round, put some of that lap and just thought, I can't continue? Yeah, I tried it, but at some point I saw that uh, I couldn't make it. So I decided to go direct to here because uh, much pain in the leg. So Oriel gets back to camp. Couldn't make it round yard 75. Well done, Oriel. Amazing efforts. Lots of support on the live stream for you as well. Thank Everyone's you. saying well done. And your wife is on the live stream. Your yeah. wife is on the live stream. How are you? This is the reality of ultra running. It's the reality of backyard. Well done. Amazing. So Oriel is back in camp. With four runners remaining, uh, the campsite is very much smaller than it was. Uh, there's Oriel uh, watching events unfold. Henrik is here. Andrew Smith is here. Vedrana. There's Matt. Here's Antonio. Antonio's putting his waterproofs on. This will be in, uh, this will be a national record for Antonio if he gets 77 yards. Ten seconds, guys. Ten seconds. Good luck, Antonio. Uh, Lukas. Good job, Lukash. So Lukash is every loop. Lukash is adding to his record. He's adding to his personal best. Away they go. Get over the line, guys. And away they go. So they're in their waterproofs now. Four runners uh, away. Marco there is uh, Antonio's... Um, crew they're just going down to cheer them uh, as they go around the little loop in the forest so uh, and this is uh, uh, Lukash's support crew who also go down and support uh, at the little turning they do they do a little loop in this forest here so this tent here is the timing tent uh, that is where Matt Brown from Timing Monkey uh, lives and he operates all this equipment here to make sure that everyone is timed in and out of their loop correctly. Uh, this is the van for Lindy Chambers, the uh, race director uh, with all the equipment, first aid equipment, the full support vehicle here. That's Lindley, uh, that's Maxine. They are in charge. This is the DNF bell here. Uh, so th this is where runners will come when they decide to DNF or finish um, their race. Uh, uh, just basically loads of equipment in here, in this little section here. Uh, these are the tags that the runners have around their ankles. Uh, these are the timing tags. They have to wear them every single loop around their ankle to time the event. There's the bell there. Um, the food tent is over here. So if you do not have crew, I mean, all the runners now, have, they do have crew, but there is extra food laid on here if you do not have crew. Uh, and uh, hot drinks and uh, we, we've been making um, thank you uh, how are you uh, bacon sandwiches and 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 um, baked potato all sorts of uh, food stuff being made in here uh, the crew tents are diminishing by the minute uh, this is Hendrik and um, Matt Blackburn's crew tents here so Hendrik and Matt Blackburn in here in all four tents um that uh was oriel's tent there 
Uh, that is Lukash's tent there. Uh, so Lukash in there. Uh, and when we started on Saturday, all this field, all the way up to that line there, the whole of this field was filled with tents. Uh, Antonio has been using the communal tent area with his crew. So Marco, Marco and Antonio have been using this area here. So Marco is Antonio's crew. So that's Marco and Antonio's section just there. Uh, and also Vedrana has been crewing Matt and Hendrik just here as well. Even though they've got their tents behind, they've been crewed here. How are you feeling now? Any better? Oh. Still bad? Still bad. Yeah. Yeah. I I am better, but sometimes I have some, like, I don't know how to describe it, but... Sharp pain? Yeah. 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 It's more than a bit. Uh, Oriel's been feeling pain since lap 27, so for a long time, uh, and just caused him to DNF uh, on the last lap. Great effort, though. Oriel is the current course record holder. He said, you're hoping the course record gets beaten. I hope so. They are, uh, the, the, the runners that are in the, in the race are very strong and determined. Who do you, do you have an idea? So this is Marco. Marco is crew for Antonio and Marco has crewed Antonio to a new Italian national record of 77 yards. Antonio's got 77. New record. There we go. But he's not going to stop. No stopping. Hello. Carry on. 77 is the new Italian record. And away we go. No big celebrations. No big celebrations. He is carrying on. Well done. Good job. The record is for my wife, Nadia, my son, Mirko, and all of my team. Well done. Congratulations. Carry on. Uh, he just said his, the record is for his wife and his son. Uh, thank you very much for that Antonio brilliant work uh, so Lukash is in Matt Blackburn is in Antonio is in we are just waiting for Henrik from Germany to come in he has uh, four minutes to get in and here he is in fact let's go Hendrik come on 77 laps done for Hendrik but Hendrik is still away from his German record, uh, he's got four more laps to equal the German record. Well done, Henry. Just keep it going. Nice and steady, one at a time. He's in. And there we go. So, 77 laps done. And uh, everyone's happy. And Antonio has a new Italian record. Lap 79. Come on, guys. Matt Blackburn crosses the line. He has four more loops to do to break the British record. Antonio is adding a loop onto the Italian record at every turn. Lukas just keeps going and going. Lukas from Poland is on a mission. They, they, they don't look in a hurry. With two and a half minutes to go... Anthony, Antonio and Henrik are walking to the line. What does this mean? Come on, guys. Two minutes. 
Come on, guys, you've got this. Get this out. Come on, do it. One more. German record, Henrik. Come on. You can do this. Come on. Uh, 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 yeah? Yeah. yeah. Like you're going to do this? Yes. Yeah. Honestly, okay, you, you can both do it. Yes. Yeah. You saw that. Both of them are completely wrecked. And both of them um, kind of want to quit. But they said they're going to try and go out one more time. So this would be loop 80. Hendrik is so close to the German record. I'll, I'll finish the three. Um, I know, you went to the toilet, so I knew you'd be late. Yeah, yeah. Come, come on, Hendrik. Keep your head in the game. You can do this. You know you can. I'll finish them. Good. Mm. You're doing great. Yeah. One, One minute. minute. You can do this. One more. Wow. Ten seconds, guys. Let's get sorted. Well done. Come on. Amazing work, guys. Thank you very much. Amazing. So after 79 yards, Antonio Di Mano is making his way back to camp. He's turned round on the 80th yard. Well done. Yo, thank you very much. For you had a great day. No problem. It's been a pleasure. It's very been nice. amazing watching you. Such good work. Thank you. And Marco. Yes, sir. So the legs, just uh, the mind, the just head, yeah, mind. the head. So you you passed the Italian record, and then as in Tennessee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tennessee four, only two, and stop. Yeah, it's the yeah. It's funny, isn't it? How strange. Yeah. Thank you very much. Very good. Well done. Right. Okay, so <laughs> Antonio says not the legs, but the head. The head is what let him down, and it's it's the thing that we fear every time. Once that milestone is reached, once you reach that point where you've achieved the goal, it's too easy to let go. So, oh. okay. well done, Antonio. Great work. This may not be the London Marathon, but the enthusiasm and the support for the runners is equally as strong. Lukas goes through. Hey! Lukas is off on his 81st yard. And listen, every single, every single loop, these girls have come to support their runner. And it, even three o'clock in the morning, these ladies have been coming to this gate to support their runner and all the other runners as well. It might not be the London Marathon, but uh, the supporters that we've got here are just as enthusiastic and just as keen to see their runners successful. Come on, Henrik. You've got this. You've got this, mate. Come on. With 81 yards, Matt Blackburn 
has a brand new shiny personal best at the Backyard Ultra. Woo! Look at that. Come on, Matt. Great stuff, but it's not over yet. It's not over yet. Matt is going to get some rest. He is going to get some food and he will be back out here to get the British record. Right, yard 82. This, this for the British record, this for the German record. This to equal the course record. And it is absolutely blowing a gale and throwing it down with rain now. Uh, this merry band of people here are witnessing history again as a young uh, Matthew Blackburn approaches the finishing gantry which blew down in the wind about 40 minutes ago but now is up and registers Matt Blackburn crossing the finish line as the new British record holder for Backyard Ultra. Yeah. Uh, did you see, you, do you know, if you, everything was chaos here after you left. You realise that, don't you? Are you, you blaming me for this? Yeah, it's your yeah, fault, yeah. 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 Uh, well done on a British record. Thanks, man. Do you want to do a few more? What's that? A few more? Laps? Just, just give it a bit of a... Just for something to do? Cushion. What yeah. else are you going to do this evening? I, I might squeeze a couple more in. You know. Let's do that. Let's do uh, go and get yourself sorted. So not only have we had a British record this lap, but Henrik is about to cross the line to break his own German record. Well done, Hendrik. Fantastic work. That is amazing. Yeah, I mentioned that like I'm not tired, so I'm, I'm happy to to help Matt for sure. Mm -hmm. right. For sure. These are these are new T-shirts, yeah. but these are I'm not even used yet. But there's new T-shirts. Yeah, so Did I'm you just happy. say you're happy to help Matt? Uh, yeah, for sure. And I think like given the conditions out there, it's. I mean, he obviously has Matt and Matt and everybody, but Maya can also support a little bit. I mean, they're going to have a tough night, like everything is pretty muddy out there. Yeah, so we need to do quite a bit of cleaning, I think, okay. and just okay. take care of the feet. And I hope Lukas also has a few people for him. Yeah. Because... Oh, yeah. Lukas is well supported. Yeah. Okay. Because... Do you not feel like you just want to now go to sleep? <laughs> uh, I definitely don't want to get out there again, for sure. I definitely want to put up my legs. Um, I'm not sleepy, funnily enough. Like, I think these guys put a lot of caffeine in me. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so I'm not quite sure I will be able to sleep You're for the next sleeping. four days. But You really pushed yourself to that uh, German record, didn't you? Yeah, I didn't want to do those last... The last marathon was definitely not planned. Like, I, I don't know why I actually did that. Probably because of those guys. But yeah. <laughs> it was a good effort trying to get him out on the last one there. Well done. Good try, but he was definitely not yeah, going. Didn't do well enough, no, you, you weren't going, were you? I just made it with like two minutes to spare. Yeah. There was like no margin. <laughs> like it's really muddy out there, and I, my legs are really, really tired. Henrik, um, you're just I, such I don't a think star. I would, have, I would have made it the next one, so yeah, no. Uh, one of the yeah. nicest guys on the ultra running back, backyard ultra winning circuit, Henrik Bury. Well done, Muddy. Thanks, man. Well Appreciate well it. Well Matt, you're an absolute legend. You really are. That look horrendous. You look great. <laughs> Eighty-seven yards. I 
Hang on, let me get the chip off first. Get your chip off first. Yeah. Then, so. then you can walk across it. Uh, otherwise, we'll get it at a lot time. Hold on, mate. <laughs> he knows what he's got to do. Sleeping? Just do the bell, please. Uh, where? 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 Four o'clock in the morning, Matt Blackburn comes back the wrong way on the loop. And this means that Lukas Robel is the winner of the Backyard Ultra. Well done, my friend. 88 loops. It is four o'clock in the morning here. And uh, this, is, uh, this is crazy, but... Uh, we are having an awards ceremony at 4 a.m. <laughs> oh. And then we're going to bed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I sleep. Uh, I, uh, every loop, when I have five minutes, ten minutes. Yes, I, you sleep. I sleep. Yeah. And for me, it's important because i not too tired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You definitely looked fresh. <laughs> looked good. Okay. Like a young girl. Oh, you have trophy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then you have t shirt. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, and torch from Sponsor. Oh. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, that is from Sponsor. That's. Uh, same as same as this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I know. And stuff, yeah. The, the yeah, it's a good brand. And then a buff. And I assume you do not want these. You do want one anyway. <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah, you you're not you don't you don't win these, but you can have it if you want. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. If you, if you, yeah. <laughs> That's the dog tags, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, well done, Lukas. Well done. Get a picture, just a quick picture, yeah, 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 so, yeah, yeah, so yeah. you can put on social media. Volunteers, so many people watching that. Yes, lots of people watching. Yeah.